Okay, it's time for another beer from Aldi. Um, and this is what I saw. Um, sorry, in four packs. It's the Freedom Kolsch style lager. Um, I saw it, four cans for four pounds. Thought, I can't walk past that. Can't walk past that. See what, um, see what it's like. Um, it's brewed at Freedom Brewery in Staffordshire. Um, thinking four cans for four pounds from Aldi. Is it going to be any good? That's the question. Um, and I thought there were small cans when I bought, which is a bit bizarre. I would have thought the uh, the box would have given away how big the cans were. I thought they were 330ml cans when I bought the box. When I opened it up, I realised they were 440ml cans. 4.5% Freedom Kolsch. Well, there we go. Um, what do we think it's like? It's their take on a classic beer originated from Cologne, Germany. Fermented with German ale yeast and long matured for a light, crisp flavour. Interesting, it says a balanced cross between an ale and a lager. So that would be interesting. Okay, what does it say? Oh, well, it even tells you what hops are in it. Apparently it's Pearl and Tetnang hops. So there we go. So, interesting, okay. So, um, so for four pound, this could be a great bargain or it could be something a little bit disappointing. Who knows until we crack it open. So let's have a see. So Freedom Coach, I've seen some Freedom beers in Aldi before. Never seen this one. Uh, let's crack it open. There we go, not much. Not much fizz on the opening there. Uh, but there is a bit of, there's some suds inside. Let's get the whole thing in, let's go. So, so pouring it, nice bit of carbonation. Pouring a little bit hazy, almost like an unfiltered lager. Looking at it, yeah, it's a little bit hazy in the uh, in the colour there. Uh, it's getting like yeah, it's just like kind of like a hazy lager colour, really. Um, yellow, bordering on amber. Yeah, there we go. So it's uh, yeah, it's um, a little bit hazy. Just a little bit of a, just one finger white head there. Um, it looks all right. Looks clear enough. Doesn't look overly carbonated. Um, let's uh, let's get a little bit of a sniff of it and see how it's smelling. So I'm getting, so there is lemon in there. I'm getting hit with as with kind of like floral hops. A little bit of wheat. Getting some malt in there. Smells quite malty. Does smell very crisp. Smells quite grassy. Yeah, it smells like a lager, smells. Yeah, it smells like kind of like a lager, but not just a standard, like, you know, clear lager. It smells like there's something else there. Not quite sure what yet. Well, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit bready. Got a little bit of a, a little bit of a sharp zing to it coming on the nostrils there. Not quite sure what that is. Yeah, it's only getting a lemoniness, lemoniness coming through there. If that's a word, lemoniness. Well, it is now because I've used it. Um, okay, let's uh, let's get out, go in for the old taste then and see what it tastes like. Cheers. Yeah, so it's crisp. It's it's got quite a bit of flavour to it. It's a bit sharp, it's a bit zingy. There's a nice little nice little creaminess on the aftertaste. It's quite dry. It's quite a dry mouthfeel. But it is very crisp, very clean. Yeah, I'd say for four and a half percent this pack this pack's quite a punch really. It's um Got quite a bit of floral character to it. Um, yeah, it's decent for what you pay for it, really. I mean, it's it does taste kind of like an unfiltered lager. It looks like an unfiltered lager. If you want something like that, I mean, a pound a can, it's like... Well, that's dirt cheap, isn't it, really? Um, especially for something like this, which is certainly a cut above... You're just your standard lagers that you'll get places. The can of lagers you'll get for a pound a can, 
I would say this is a lot nicer and has a lot more flavour than a lot of those lagers, okay? I wouldn't put it up there with the lagers that are in the high £1, like £1.80, £1.90 and the £2 odd lagers. Um, but to be honest, because it's, 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 it's flavour is a little bit harsh. That's that's the thing. That's the reason I wouldn't put them up there with that. Um, but to be honest, it's... It's alright. It's alright. It's decent. It's not nothing to... It's not amazing, but again, it's not going to be amazing at that kind of price. You're not expecting it to be amazing. If you just want some lagers, again, again, drink in the garden um, on a nice hot day, or just whenever you want to, you don't want to break the bank, then I'd say this seems like a good shout, really. It was a bit of a punt getting um, getting these at this price from Aldi, because you never know what you're going to get. Um, but to be honest, I am pleasantly surprised. For four cans for £4, pound, for 440ml cans, this is a bargain. It really is. It's yeah, smooth and drinkable. It's not overly carbonated or gassy or anything like that. It's 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 it's, it's decent. Dare I say it's decent? It is decent for a lager. It's good. It says a little bit of a harshness. I think to the flavour could be toned down a little bit. It's not quite as smooth in the flavour as you possibly would want. But at the end of the day. It's not dear, it's great session beer, and yeah, I'm, uh, I am enjoying it, I must say. So, let's get it down the hatch. Till next time, have a good